And then also what we need to do is we need to set up our color. Well, we're going to paint this rectangle. So we need to set up a new paint variable. And we're going to call this uh, paint blue. So again, we need to import paint. And we need to set this variable equal to something. We're just going to say new paint. And then we need to say p dot blue or yeah p dot blue, and then we're gonna say set style. I thought my computer's gonna freeze up there. So set style, and we're gonna set this equal to. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look in the paint class, see what's available. But we're, we're gonna set it to a fill. And to do that, we're just going to look through paint. And then we're going to say style dot, and then we have fill stroke. You guys can play with those, um, just see what's what's what. But we're going to use fill because we want the whole background to be filled. Um, and, and that's the paint painting style that we're going to paint. Um, and now what we have to do is we also want to set what color it is. So we're going to say p dot blue dot uh, set color. And again, we can look through uh, now the color class and see what colors they have available. We're just going to use blue. And then um, now we actually draw the rectangle. Uh, so we're going to use a, a we're going to add it to the canvas basically. So we're going to say canvas that's being passed in dot uh, draw. And uh, it's going to be draw rectangle. Or draw rect, I should say. And then basically, you can look through these. We could have set up all that stuff that we did right here in one line, but this way it's a little bit easier. As you can see, this takes in a rec object for parameter one and a paint object for parameter two. That's what we set up. So as you can see, this is going to be a rec object that we set up uh, right here, C, B, K. And for a paint object, we set up um, something called P blue. So now basically what's going to do is it's going to add this rectangle to the canvas. Um, and it's going to be a rectangle that's this big, which is the whole screen. And it's going to paint it this color blue. All right, now what else do we want? Well, we got our background, which is all blue, which is pretty cool, but it's not that great, especially for animation. If I went to a movie and it was all blue, that would just be lame. So now we're going to do, uh, we're going to draw, we're going to draw our cloud. So we're going to create a new method called whatever we want. I'm just going to call it draw cloud. And basically what it's going to do is we're going to set in the parameters an X value for where the cloud's at, a Y value, and what canvas we want to be painted on. So we're going to call it canvas. First, okay. And then first, this gives me some errors because it's like, hey, I don't know what X is, I don't know what Y is, but I do know what a canvas is. So what we, what we want for these values is going to be integer. And we want to use those integers within our whole Corn Boys class. So I'm going to set up some new variables, int, X, and Y. So now it's initializing those two variables. And um, actually, we're going to just say int x equals 0, just to start out with, int y equals 0 as well. So it gives us initial values and what they are. And now this class should recognize it, or this method should recognize what we want. But still doesn't know what this draw cloud method is. So we're going to say we want to create a new method that will take an int, another int, and a canvas. So we're going to add that, and bam, right there, it adds a new method for us just with what we wanted. And what do we want this method to do? Every time we call in this cloud, it's going to look, every time we call this draw cloud, it's going to shoot down to here and say, hey, I need to figure out what I need to do add the cloud object to the canvas. So again, we're just going to say whatever canvas is passed in. And as you can see, this is the new name for the canvas. 
So it's going to be canvas dot, and then we want to say draw bitmap. And basically, we'll, we want to do this one. Uh, this draw bitmap is going to take a bitmap, a uh, left, a top, and a, um, a left, a top, and a paint. So there we go. Our bitmap is what we initially start called it, um, defined it up at the beginning of our our content um, in this constructor up here is whatever our cloud is. So we're going to go call this bitmap cloud. This is what we want drawn. And where do we want it? Um, where do we want the left value to be? Well, we want it to be wherever our x is, whatever this is at the moment. So we're going to say um, and as you can see, it passes in the x variable, and it's just going to rename it x2 just for this little method, so we won't mess up that variable. So we're going to say we want it to be wherever x2 is at, and then for the top, we want it to be wherever y2 is. Y2 is, and then, and as for this fourth parameter, it takes a paint object. We don't really have any paint objects uh, besides that paint blue that we set up so we're just going to hover over this we're going to say create field variable what that what that is going to do is just set up a new object up here called paint from the paint class and we want to set this equal to uh, just new paint a new paint object so there we go now we have a paint variable and It's going to draw a new cloud or draw a new bitmap to our canvas every time this method's called. So basically, what we're going to have to do to get animation is have some kind of loop to go through this on draw method up here. And we want to, obviously our x values and our y values to change to get that animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to say. Um, just x, whatever x is, it's going to equal be equal now to x plus 10. So it's going to move 10 pixels to the right um, every time it loops through here. And, you know, that's cool. So now basically what we have to do is we have to get some kind of loop or thread going through here. So basically it's going to read through all this stuff and be like, uh-huh, yeah, draw that rectangle, yeah, got that paint, yeah, painted that rectangle, yeah added that painted rectangle to the canvas, yep, drawed the cloud, and then um, it's going to be like, okay, yeah, I changed whatever X is, and now it's going to get to this invalidate method. And basically this means like, uh, something's messed up, try it again. Yeah, this, you didn't, you didn't complete it, so just retry this. So it's going to go in kind of a loop or a thread type of deal, it's just going to replay through all these. But now it's going to send, uh, since x now equals 10, it will draw another cloud, but our x is going to be 10 more than it was before. So we're kind of going to get an animation here. Basically, that's going to be that's going to be good to go. And what that's going to do is just draw one cloud, and it's going to go across the screen, and then it's going to go on forever, um, even when it's off the screen. So, and now we want the cloud when it hits the end of the screen to redraw itself on the left side but go like 10 pixels down so what we're going to do is we're going to set up just a simple kind of loop and where we're going to check if x is less than again canvas dot get width since it's moving left to right if it's less than the width that it's going then you can move uh, 10 pixels to the right. If it's not, then we're going to say else, and then we're going to say y equals y plus 10. So now it's going to move down 10, and we also want to set x equal back to 0. So it's going to set it on the left side of the screen. All right, so now let's run our application and see if we got it working. And I, alright, and I know going through this tutorial, 
There's a lot of new stuff, a lot of confusing stuff, and you guys probably don't even know exactly what you did. But uh, we're going to work through some more animation stuff here in the next few tutorials. You guys learned a lot of stuff, a lot of Java, and it probably confuses you. So don't be worried. Uh, I just want to hope that you guys get this working and somewhat get what's going on. So we're going to go down now to our graphics and check it out. Hopefully it works. And it's basically uh, a cloud that goes over, and when it hits, hits and it, it moves down. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then also, I just kind of want to show you guys how you can mess around and maybe understand, excuse me, understand the lesson a little bit better. Um, just you can now you since we have this sweet method that draws clouds, we can just say draw cloud at point like 100 300 or something like that and then we're going to also set it to the same canvas that we've been working on and basically now it's going to have another cloud on there so um, you guys can just mess around with that and see exactly what that method does what we set it up to do um, but again thanks for watching and subscribing sorry if it's confusing uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and like work through some of those problems that you guys may be having. Uh, peace guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Later.